afternoon greetings to all the curious minds and young souls present here. I am Devi Kabiju from the English department of KCMT. I am profusely delighted to extend my warm welcome to each and every one of you on behalf of the English department of our college. We are indeed blessed with the best faculty who provide us with all the innovative and effective learning opportunities. Their meticulous effort in arranging all possible measures of fruitful learning is worth mentioning. We have all gathered here for an interactive session as a part of the association, the English Association Seminar Series. Prayer is the raising of one's mind and heart to the Almighty, who speaks in the silence of heart. Let me invite Jisa for the invocation. May you all please kindly rise to the prayer.
I will not say the what sort of changes that he underwent. But all these uh, changes made him a, a holistic person, and not only a holistic person, a, a, a kind of uh, not well known figure, I may not say, but a Samana who is uh, very much popular within his congregation. Especially when you uh, especially when you look into uh, I think uh, if, I, if I ask this fellow priest, especially his own batchmates about him, um, of course they always say, I'm, I'm, I'm a friend of many of his batchmates. And um, when uh, I I gather information, I never ask one who he is. I will never ask him. I never did so. But whenever I I just gathered, whenever I asked him to ask them to talk about him, they always said that he is a vibrant figure, an exuberant figure. And that is what he is. And that experience, experience you know, you know, look at the time schedule, that itself is very key. 4.30 getting up, then to the college, all this meeting, how the admission process is going on. Almost all the mix. Not even one time he told me, I'm busy. He was very open to me in every step. But that I definitely avoided. And this is what a new place. And not only to me, to all the teachers. And I, 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 I firmly uh, believe that, uh, or I, I, I pray to God that I think you will have the strength to manage this responsibility for me. And plus about uh, Rahul sir, I went to his Bible, in a clear reply. That is something uh, that struck a chord with me, something that uh, I think, uh, something that uh, drew my attention to his uh, biography is this. Especially, he mentioned about a degree that he did not complete. Normally, people would crawl about their degrees. And they would, I think, display that in a, in a kind of, uh, in a kind of uh, very glorious man in their biography. But uh, he mentioned very clear what I don't have. And I am very comfortable. And we are the birds of the same man, uh, especially for this. He is a quiet, well not quiet, I am a minor person, okay, playing from the sideline. Uh, the point is that uh, yeah, I think poets, uh, they do have a, a kind of uh, a holistic, I dare to say, a kind of aesthetic sense of it. They are not afraid of anything. They are not fearful of anything. They take everything in a kind of sportsman spirit, in a philosophical way. I think it does have that quality in humble measure within him. Many times I saw him in terms of the valuation over here, but look at that his very appearance. That shows that an intellectual caliber that is attached to his character. And if I am in, in any sort of excess in my praise of uh, uh, you, uh, I, I, I think uh, you should forgive me, but it's not an exaggeration. I think uh, when a person uh, stands up and says, I am what I am, not what I am not, like he almost said in uh, the Shakespearean play. Shakespearean play? Nothing. So that is what he is. And also a few places I needed to do. I have been uh, brimming to do that for the last uh, few public uh, uh, exposition of mine. First of all, you know, this seminar was brought into, into being over here. Because of the relentless and restless support of many students over here. During the online, uh, I mean, we, our classes were in online mode, especially in uh, senior students, first and second semesters, and even third semesters, uh, were in the uh, online mode. At that time, a few students uh, helped the entire department to conduct all those events, uh, as part of comparing, as part of organization, uh, and uh, especially to uh, comparing personalities, 
one already left here, we two already left, Sayuja as well as Blitty, uh, and another one is uh, Alina and, uh, and also Isuri Abhij. And, uh, and after we started the online, uh, I mean offline classes over here, I think a few individuals, they, they ran from pillar to post in order to make this, uh, these seminar sections a uh, reality over here. For example, the special mention must be made to Jisa, Dinosha, Koyo, uh, and Steve, especially to Steve's contribution. Uh, and I understand if they were, uh, you know, whenever we gave them a task, sometimes uh, they did it within a span of one day. Awaits for work, awaits for effort, awaits for hard work. They only always did the spade work and we simply reaped the harvest. We teachers. So definitely we have congratulations to the real heroes of this particular seminar. <laughs> and also the coordinator of today's uh, uh, seminar series title to popular culture really uh, miss thank you for being there a uh, 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 pillar of strength a uh, uh, rock soul I mean, for being, extending a rock soul and uh, support to them and also uh, apart from that I am very thankful and grateful for all your uh, presence over here and then is a talk with uh, rap detection and then get a kind of rap ecstasy out of that and also you know often times these fine people and this not teaching staff over here. Often times you not get any sort of respect and their admiration during a kind of program like this. Last time Josie was here, this time uh, uh, he is here to handle the responsibility. Thank you, thank you for being here. And thank you for all. Thank you so much, sir. All the men and women we are in place. To transport us to the dramatic work of Shakespeare, I invite Milin and Gauri for an enticing performance. Who's there, Othello? Hi, Destimona. Will you come to bed, my lord? Have you prayed tonight, Destimona? Hi, my lord. If you're making yourself of any crime, aren't we consigned as yet to heaven and grave? Now, if you sprout, oh, help me. Done. There is no hope. 
spirit and never dies. Now, I will do Masha for a Western solo. who 
have held means. Function B is staff members of sorry, am I all good? The staff members of the Department of English and my dear students, my friends. Okay. Uh, 
I may uh, divert from the topic. So to make sure that I don't uh, have a PowerPoint presentation as well. Now, popular culture. We have an idea of what culture means. What do you think culture means? Culture. Or can you talk about a few things that go into culture? Namode culture, namode samskar. Can you give me examples of culture? Yes? Yes, the dress that we wear is part of our culture. The way we speak is part of our culture. Our language is part of our culture. Uh, institutions like uh, religion are part of our culture. The way we uh, speak, the way we walk, the way we sit are all part of our culture. But uh, there is something called mass culture. Mass culture. Before that, I would say food is part of our culture. Do you think, do you think so? Food is part, part of our culture. What are some of the popular central travel food dishes that you can think of? Central travel food, Matya Tirvidan, Bhagata, Special Ayat, Take it something in the dish for that. Kappa. Kappa meter. And uh, what, about, what about chicken? How many like chicken? There many people who like chicken. Central Travel Pool would take it to the chicken curry. Yes? What about the chicken curry? So that, that's uh, a part of the culture that is central travel code. Our the way we speak, that's part of their culture. The love culture. And so Kotem could have its own chicken. Calicut has its own chicken. Trivandrum has its own chicken. I'm talking about the dish, not the Bird, but the dish that we eat. And this is what makes us so rich as a culture. What was Sambana? Rich. Because this is how I speak. I don't totally speak in English. Okay. I have my own reasons for that. But uh, anyway. uh, now, now think of something like KFC. So you go to a restaurant in Kota and you order chicken curry, you get chicken curry. You, you go to Trishu, you get another brand of chicken curry. You go to Calicut, again, that is different. You go to Trivandrum, it's different. Now the, the peculiarity with something like KFC is that their chicken tastes almost the same everywhere. Of course, depending on the kind of uh, chicken that they can get, but it tastes almost the same. Whether it is in Kochi or Trivandrum or in Delhi, KFC would taste almost the same. Now, this is how I would say mass culture is. Mass culture is some, you know, all those objects or, uh, you know, uh, apparatuses of culture that are produced on a mass scale, expecting the public to gobble it up based on a formula that's mass culture. Now this started somewhere in the 1910s and 1920s, or I would say after the First World War, when uh, Industrial Revolution was at its peak, and mechanization was happening. Automobiles were there, but somewhere in the 1920s, 
there is this automobile company called Ford. Ford of Yamaha. Here they deal with Nexus type, Ford. This company Ford, headed by Henry Ford, they brought in a revolution. Assembly line. Assembly line. That's it. If you say that, you can do an assembly line in one moment. Okay? If you have watched this movie in modern times, you will understand this. Charlie Chaplin in modern times, and Charlie Chaplin in modern times. Yes. Chaplin's character, he goes to work in a factory, and all he has to do is tighten the bolts. Rather than the way in there, but I have to do the bolt to tighten the bolt. He can tighten these bolts. So no worker can, in fact, claim that he manufactured a car. So the mind and put out to afford it a car, but it put a home board. No employee of Ford can say that, see, I, I made that car. Because he didn't. Or she didn't. The only thing that he did was tighten the boat. That's a very good one. So, either it's happening to character after doing this thing, for many days, he lost his mind. So, when I did the media, mass culture, everything became factory produced. Cinema. Cinema became factory produced. Factory was going to be completed on time. Paramount, MGM, Universal, AVM. In the other companies, we don't know. Well, they formally cancel it, similar to working on the AVM. Because they know the public idea. Don't know how much cinema hit I will. That's what we also see, right? Shaji Kailas, Mohanlal Jemich, we say bring the road, put the cinema chain off, hit up, no? Are they formulated for a cinema logo? No, this is mass culture. Music is part of mass culture. Cinema is part of mass culture. Literature is also part of a kind of mass culture. But certain products, they get the public attention. They rise to the top. A la cinema logo hit up. Chilla brand, chilla formula can sell it to the cinema logo. कभी तो कर प्रोडक्ट्स नेट पर हमारे चिकन कर इधर हिट डाउन एंड आधे पूरे लोग कर चुके प्रोडक्ट्स भी इंटर मार्केट में एंड दैट इस पॉपुलर कल्चर पॉपुलर वाइज मार्क ना कल्चर सो इट इस ऑलमोस्ट लाइक पॉपुलर कल्चर इस एस सबसेट ऑफ मास कल्चर इधर पर हमारे चिपला वो एक फ्लोर के लिए बताओ हाई कल्चर लो कल्चर क्योंस Normally we don't use such words, high and low. But uh, sociologists use this, these words, like high culture and low culture. Like uh, people who go and watch you know, certain kinds of movies. There is an attempt here as well. Now, we have to go to the high culture of Agama Amadiya. Because we think that now this is some, this is an area where intellect is exchanged. So, you are led to believe that I am an intellectual. So that something great could come out of my mouth. You can go to it up and go home. We think that this is high culture. Other uh, people who don't really go into that, low culture, either economic basis, not always it is like that. Anyway, this is the idea. Now, there is a word like subculture. We did Kinna regroup. We are part of the Department of English Fraternity. Now, the common name on the 
English literature, English language. And again, this is the binding force here, and we kind of fit into that one uh, team who like English literature. But that would be a subset here. You know, then a subset where any writers here? Writers? Bike riding, racing, look at that there or not many. What are them? I don't foresee the term. It's all over exam I could do some. There could be a few people who are interested in writing. Other subset I learn. That becomes a subculture. So if automatically the talk goes into or the class goes into probably we walk. Writers in the culture will form, like in Kavya, and they get interested. Because that is something that appeals to that subculture. In the counterculture, counterculture, these are mostly rebels who don't really believe in whatever is happening here inside the classroom. How many are here just for the attendance? I don't know, uh, yes, at least there is one person who is right now here for the attendance. Because so now the other guys are So other company comes from. They are rebels. But they have to draw the line because this is the accepted mode of behavior with us. So you can write the idea. Other than the other set on a culture. And I want to uh three o'clock, right? Uh, yes. We are all wearing masks here. Not this mask. I mean this mask. I love Korea. I'm going to do a commodity that is not to break it. You know, I'm going to do a commodity that is not to break Because I want you to think that I can supply you with some knowledge. At least, the English is specific. The English is specific. The English is specific. Because I, I, I you know, that's why I'm here. So at least they should be confident that he can deliver whatever it is. And you are wearing masks as well. Because you should appear as studious. We don't get that chance, right? If you have to sit through it. Because this is the accepted condition, this is culture. You don't really get up and tell your teacher, teacher, this is boring. We don't want this. In the Parayan Allah, it is because of our culture. So, culture can be a baggage. And, uh, you know, so, if you don't want to go to the topic later, and I narrowed it down yesterday to one concept called masculinity. What do you understand by this term, masculinity? These are the times when we talk about gender a lot. Social media, channel, we talk about gender a lot. We talk about feminism a lot. We talk about femininity a lot. Masculinity. After that, there is more attention to that area of masculinity. Now, you know the word patriarchy. Being students of English literature, you should know the word patriarchy. What do you mean by patriarchy? I mean, in their own words, and they should be the first one to judge people. Just what you understand by the word patriarchy? Male dominance. All right. Anything else? Social norms? The ones who adjust to the social norms. The ones who adjust to the social norms. All right. I, I get it. Gender? Gender norms. Gender roles. Patriarchy is a system. Okay. Is it a system? It's a system by which certain roles are assigned to certain genders and some other roles are assigned to some other genders. 
ഈ രീതിയിൽ മുമ്പോട്ട് പോകുന്ന ഒരു സിസ്റ്റം ആണ് കേട്ടുകൾ ഓ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി നമ്മളുടെ വീട്ടിലെ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി കൈമാറ്റം ചെയ്യപ്പെടുന്നത് എന്തുകൊണ്ട് ഈ പ്രോപ്പർട്ടി ഫീമെയിൽ ചൈൽഡിന് കൊടുത്തുകൂടാ ബിക്കോസ് ഹീ ഇസ് ദ വൺ ഹൂ ഷുഡ് ടേക്ക് കെയർ ഓഫ് ദി പേരൻസ് ഹിമാലയത്തിലാണ് എടുത്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ അവിടെ കാര്യങ്ങളൊക്കെ ആയിട്ട് അവൾ വരും 
the female body is there. Female body in the name of it. Female body is there to be seen by the people. You know, female gays in the world, feminist gays in the world. What about the male body? Position the city to see the cartoon of the closest figure of the world. Yanaka, cinema, Bollywood cinema, and the other thing is something like that. Salma Khan. Salma Khan's body was there to be seen, but by who? That's what you do. Yet a wild life by photographs. Everybody has seen it. It's only at the time, but we have all seen it. Another case in poetry. Another question comes from a trouble to them. In the case, case in poetry, the answer is for hurting the female sensibility. Or for screening out the regard and why? For not pretty. And if you ask the women, they would say it was for not exposing well. For not exposing a male, she didn't expose a little. So, now, we are talking about masculinity here. I draw your attention to the word hyper-masculinity. Masculinity is not a word. Femininity is not a word. Like, if we are talking about the word, the convention dictates that we have two genders here. And the genders are not known to Vishwasa. But it could be more than two, it could be more than ten, it could be more than twenty. It could be genders who have done. Because gender, sexuality, and the power of fluid. Who is a perfect male? Who is a perfect female? In the of the woman. So it is very much fluid. So masculinity can also be fluid, and there can be many kinds of masculinities. And there could be hyper masculinity, or alpha male, like we can all Alpha male. Now, I, I, I was thinking about masculinity and I was thinking about what could be easier for me to talk. Any kid, some side can help you And I was thinking about my age, the times when I was a child. I was born in the 1980s, early 1980s. Until now, I guess it was a long time ago. In this case, I don't know what to say. 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 And I stood upon one movie franchise, which is the Terminator series. Do you know what to say? Terminator movies? That makes it easier. What to say? What to say? Right from 1984 to 2019. Oh, okay. Right. Of course, very limited. And the character called the Terminator, the cyborg, is played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. Hello, welcome. Pajay Mulla, actor Arnold Schwarzenegger, California mayor of Kerala. Yes, uh, I'll be concentrating on the character of Arnold Schwarzenegger as the Terminator called T-800 in the Terminator series. Okay. So what is hyper-masculinity? Masculinity to an extreme form of man, uh, extreme form of hyper-masculinity. Now, hyper-masculinity dictates that violence in, is manly. We should normalize behavior in the violent opera. Calipan Namurubli. This is accepted as the norm. Well, he should be violent. At least towards his woman. So, so violence is taken as the norm in hyper masculinity. And danger is exciting. You should always be in the throes of death. Maranatha Muhammad Khan ne aala hai kya? Puri puri uttam position toh hai. And of course, the other things are easy. Khan's behavior, he be different to most of the people. He may be different to whatever is happening around him. 
I'm going to wait for the Marfa supporter. You know how it is. What is the man supposed to do? Wait for the Marfa supporter. He is not supposed to show any emotions. Will it be done? In the supposed Arab, will it be done? Many men here, they would know what it is like to be in this situation. We are not really supposed to show this emotion. We are not the bathroom, we are not the bathroom. And then we come back. So you are not really expected to show any emotion. This is what it means to be a man in this society. And it is, there is a pressure. Of course, there is three other male, I would say, I don't have to worry about it. But this is also a pressure. Let me skip all this. Now, let's come to this actor called Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now, it was in the 1970s when Hollywood was looking for an icon. Ironically, Schwarzenegger is not an American. He's an Austrian. With Saxon. With Saxon, he's not an American. Well, well I'm sorry. Hollywood was on the lookout for something that would project something that can be projected as the symbol of America America as the world policeman the first world war session on the USA and the other country were power like that I don't know if America had been very good but after that America gradually became a super power and after the second world war bombing Hiroshima and Nagasaki showing who is daddy bomb the house of my mother Agnes in Japan to be ready to But still, USA had to show who the real daddy was and they want Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So, Hollywood, America represents the MND, Uru, May, Uru, Purusha, Sharida, American military represents the MND. And they found their killing machine in Arthur Schwarzenegger. 1972, Agnes in Arthur, Mr. Universe, I am. He was Mr. Universe for six consecutive years. He put not the eighth generation of the At least there will be one picture of Arnold Schwarzenegger. And it will go to the moon. And it was towards the end of the 70s and early 80s that generations sprang up in countries like India. Like a generation of the Tuts of the Kudal and Badal for years of the 1980s. Anyway, he was given roles like Most movies like Predator, Conan the Barbarian, he was cast in this movie called The Terminator by James Cameron. And he portrayed that thing that America wanted to present itself as. Now, what about the movie called The Terminator? It's based on time travel. And I think whether you will love it, he sends a terminator, which is a cyborg. What's a cyborg? A cyborg is not exactly a ah, yes, yes. half human, half robot. It's not exactly a robot. The tissue is human. It has blood, it has flesh, but inside it is a machine. So this is what we call a cyborg. Now, we have a masculine tendency to, 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 to defeat everything. But there is one thing masculinity can still not do. That is the aspect of giving birth. This is not possible. Where I can make XLE as a child, a man will not be able to do this. And so, how to defeat death in the world? So, if we have a cyborg, if all human beings become cyborgs, now all the cyborgs are running up to the manual because inside it's a machine. As long as you are given the fuel, you will run. So, here the tendency to have my turn, cyborg in the life of Shadrach is a big fantasy. This is an ultimate male fantasy to become someone. Who will never die and who will always be strong. Okay. Anyway, uh, these terminators are cyborgs who are sent back in time to kill someone or to protect someone. Okay. Now, 
uh, we have like six Terminator movies. Adil, I have to say that I have to say that I have to say that I have to say The first one, the Terminator 1984, Terminator 2, Judgment Day 1991, Terminator Genesis in 2015, that's a long gap. Uh, Terminator Dark Fate in 2019. Elekula and Vittu Rayana Dharma, only Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines is not by the same franchise. Or they have to watch the TMD Allah. And Terminator Salvation doesn't feature the other shots. He ran the Karnamu Kundan, he ran the cinema in the markets. Okay. Now, the first movie, the Terminator 1984. The role of the hyper masculine figure as to date. He ran the Dikin on Alayta, 1980s. Okay. 1990s or 1980s. And the man is supposed to be a violent predator. And in this, Arnold Schwarzenegger plays the role of the Terminator, which is a villain. But a villain. Not a cinema villain. She is in the way a villain. Okay. Because he is the Terminator called T-800, which is sent back in time to make sure that John O'Connor, Harviel, Skynet, and the institution is there. Fighting in the Manishere representative fighting in the John Connor in the Varanya Jenike. Jenika can enter another in the Amaid. And there, the attack is on the moon, not on the child. But whatever. Anyway, Sala or Connor Ida, they are can, when you are in the cyborg Gani or in the T8. And the entry of the cyborg is important. My presentation doesn't work really well. Just give me a second. Can you hear the sound? Okay, 
So there is a scene when it goes out its eyes. Ready or not? Very good. Ready to match that? He also cuts his skin off and shows his hand. The last day I have a picture because he is he is so you know resilient to pain that he can do all these things. Now we need to consider the T800 as the face of USA in the 1980s. America. Logic ne umbel kani kya samne kena sunda mukhman as a military soldier. Someone who doesn't feel any pain, someone who doesn't give in to any emotion. If you know some history, that was the era of Ronald Reagan. It was the time of the Cold War. America, it was like a high level spending era. Samay kala, a samay kala door to cinema. And the Terminator doesn't speak much. Some sorry kila. Vallar ko sab baat kare hai to kya bolu hai bolu. Okay. This is something that is manly. That's why I'm going to take a school break to get one down. But I'm going to learn some Sanskrit again. Kalapala 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 Sanskrit again. It is a feminine quality, not a manly thing. Men are supposed to be like this. What about you, Sanskrit? Cinema is not a gangster thing anymore. Kodi or Sanskrit or whatever is Sanskrit. Kalapala 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 Only one second, it must be like one second. You don't really speak much. Again, that's a manly thing. But uh, we come to Terminator 2. Other than that, I called it the Predator. Terminator is a predator fighter. He is a very nice one. Which is very nice. The other one is a old Nazi British, 1991. Soviet Union like a thug. Cold War like this. We know it. It was the time of. The way, metrosexual or am I not? Or mid nineties now, metrosexual man. But shall we move on? We have feminine sensibility of a person. Quite such an expressive way of a person. Three or four or nine. Could take a very simple person. Easy, easy, easy. Because feminism is quite one to one. And so the T eight hundred should change. You would have been the night of the thing, but no. Instead, T eight hundred is a protector here. I will protect him. 1984 वे Yeah. <laughs> 
the man has only one intention multitasking is not his area multitasking is the woman's area here the only purpose of the machine is to protect the child and he himself says my mission is to protect and the mother of john sarah on even she starts admiring this machine instead for the father which is not there father will okay adine patti or father aan ee machine enna sara pole chindikkunnu considering the machine as the father of your child now that's how the t8 unit is position here taking a lot of time so ella video nan kaanikkunnu Sara considers in the perfect paternal figure, and just because there is no sound, uh, there is no point in playing it. And different from the 1984 Terminator, here the Terminator is willing to learn. What is carrying on? What is he carrying on? The 90s male, three girls in the same carrying on, four girls in the same carrying on. What is he carrying on? So he accepts certain words. So the word girl, past the last star, that the word girl will be done. Chill out, you know. John Arnold teaches him campus lingo of the beginning of the act. He even learns to smile from the child. And here, he represents, represents the new man. The cyborg represents the new man of the 90s. He is hyper-masculine, but still a paternal figure as well. But uh, this only puts a slightly softer face on the T-800. That doesn't mean that it is a move in the right direction. Allah, stranger with it, sadhana, anybody should go to the trolla. Mother, to be going, or even if they are watching, what assimilating you, it doesn't still become uh, the right. You will be neutral figure only. Now, in 2015, the T800 is almost a father. But the protector mother and the other father is not. Sadhana, what are you doing? What are you doing? Exceedingly unlike none of them. And the T800 Tengabura ST is almost a father figure to Sarah or Mara. I'll just play one clip. She even calls the Terminator Pops, just like that. And he has learned to smile. Of course, it's weird, but still, he has learned to smile. Or it, I should say, not exactly. says about the Terminator. Something that easily connects with most of the people. The divine touch. The father in heaven.
ഞാൻ ഇതൊക്കെ കുറെ കാര്യങ്ങൾ വിട്ടു ടുവേർഡ്സ് ദി എൻഡ് ഹി ടെൽസ് ദ മാൻ കൈ റീസ് പ്രൊട്ടക്ട് മൈ സാർ ബിഫോർ ടെർമിനേറ്റിംഗ് ഹിം സെൽഫ് ദ ടെർമിനേറ്റർ സെയ്സ് പ്രൊട്ടക്ട് മൈ സാർ ജസ്റ്റ് ലൈക്ക് എൻ നോർമൽ ഫാദർ ഇൻ പേട്രിയാർക്കൽ സിസ്റ്റം വുഡ് വോണ്ട് സേഫായിട്ട് കാര്യങ്ങളിൽ ഏൽപ്പിക്കുക ഞാൻ മരിക്കുന്നതിന് മുമ്പ് സേഫായിട്ടുള്ള പുരുഷന്റെ കയ്യിൽ ഏൽപ്പിക്കുക എന്നുള്ളതാണ് ഏതൊരു അച്ഛൻ്റെയും ആഗ്രഹം ആൻഡ് സോ ദ മെഷീൻ സെയ്സ് not the human the machine says protect my son so kai is the idea of jolly the protector it way that i am protecting you you need to protect him sounds familiar manas kundi pidar chuk say to protect my son alor na ibide avasani so 2015 le vana ko here it is a father figure the terminal is a father figure remember 2010 year 2010 2015 year kala ko kalidittana things like hashtag #me too hashtag #black lives matter ingetha kore kaaryam varunu so still there is the idea that the man should protect the woman okay now what's it comes to 2019 കഴിഞ്ഞ മൂന്ന് സിനിമകളിൽ ദർ ഇസ് എ സീറ്റിച്ച് കഴിഞ്ഞ മൂന്ന് സിനിമകളിലും ഫ്രം ദ വില ടു ദി പ്രൊട്ടക്ടർ ടു ദി ഫാദർ ഫിഗർ എല്ലാവർക്കും പ്രൊട്ടക്ഷൻ ആണ് ഒന്നുകിൽ ടെർമിനേഷൻ ആണ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ പ്രൊട്ടക്ഷൻ ആണ് സമൂഹം പുരുഷനെ അനുവദിച്ചു തന്നിട്ടുള്ള രണ്ട് റോൾസ് ആണ് ഐദർ ബി എ വയലന്റ് പ്രൊട്ടക്ടർ ഓർ ബി ദി പ്രൊട്ടക്ടർ ഈ രണ്ട് റോൾസ് ആണ് നമ്മൾ തന്നിരിക്കുന്നത് ഈ രണ്ട് റോൾസ് ഉള്ളതും തന്നെ ബി ആർ ഓഫ് വീഡിയോ എക്സ്പ്രസ് I mean, man, I don't really express it. Now, in 2019, the Terminator is not exactly a protector. Here, he is mostly an ally. A friend in a bullet. Support in a way to my friend, go to the little one, go to the machine. He has aged. Well, uh, I'll just play one or two clips. Yeah. 
That's the final blow. B 
with yes. seven men in their twenties. How do they position themselves? That could be a divide. 
പല കാര്യങ്ങളും കൺസപ്ഷൻ എന്ന് പറയുന്ന സാധനം കൺസപ്ഷൻ ഉപഭോഗം ഉപഭോഗം എന്ന് പറയുന്ന പവർ ദ മോർ യു കൺസ്യൂം ദ മോർ പവർ യു ഗെറ്റ് ഒരു വീട്ടിലാണെങ്കിൽ കൂടുതൽ കൺസ്യൂം ചെയ്യുന്ന ആൾക്ക് കൂടുതൽ പവർ കിട്ടും കൺസ്യൂം ചെയ്യാൻ ഇറ്റ് ബി ഫുഡ് ഇറ്റ് ബി അവർ തിങ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ബി ദ ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പർ വീട്ടിൽ ആദ്യം ആര് പത്രം വായിക്കുന്നു അയാൾക്ക് ഒരു പവറുണ്ട് വീട്ടിൽ ആര് ടി വിയുടെ റിമോട്ട് കൈയാണെന്ന് അയാൾക്ക് ഒരു പവറുണ്ട് ഇതില്ലാത്തവർക്ക് പവർ കുറയും നിങ്ങളുടെ വീട്ടിൽ ആരാണ് ഏറ്റവും അവസാനം ടി വി കാണുകയും ഏറ്റവും അവസാനം ന്യൂസ് പേപ്പർ വായിക്കുകയും ചെയ്യുന്നത് അയാൾക്കാരൊക്കെ ആ വീട്ടിൽ ഏറ്റവും കുറവ് മിക്കവാറും അടുത്ത ദിവസത്തെ പത്രം പ്രിന്റ് ചെയ്ത് എത്തിച്ചു തുടങ്ങിയിട്ടുണ്ടാവും ആ സമയത്ത് എനിക്ക് ഇവിടെ വേറെ പത്രം വായിക്കുന്നു സോ ദാറ്റ് പേഴ്സൺ വിൽ ഹാവ് ദി ലീസ്റ്റ് എമൗണ്ട് ഓഫ് പവർ അറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഹോം ഇതെല്ലാം നമ്മുടെ ഇതെല്ലാം പോപ്പുലർ കൾച്ചറിലേക്ക് കൊണ്ടുവരാൻ പറ്റും ലൈക്ക് ന്യൂസ് കാണുന്ന ആരായിരിക്കും വീട്ടിൽ വാർത്തകൾ കാണുന്ന ആരായിരിക്കും മെഗാ സീരിയൽ കാണുന്ന ആരായിരിക്കും യു കെറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് സോ ഇവിടെ ഹൈ കൾച്ചർ ആരാണ് ലോ കൾച്ചർ ആരാണ് so this is how men and women are brought up from a very young age purushamar taste gal high aan sreegal taste gal low aan enna reethila paarthikondu varunu and this is an added tension as well purushan indha sense sreegal ko nadu pole purushan indha tension undu idhe pole veliya veliya kaaryangal samsaarikkanam naal aalu kodunnathu serial enga varai pattu nokku you need to talk about politics you are actually a problem രാഷ്ട്രീയത്തിനെ കുറിച്ച് തേങ്ങ അറിയില്ലെങ്കിൽ പോലും നമുക്ക് ആരെങ്കിലും ഒക്കെ രണ്ട് ചിത്രങ്ങൾ ചെയ്ത് പോരാട്ടം ഡ്രൈവ് ചെയ്യലാകാം മരുമേശത്തിലാകാം ആരെങ്കിലും അബ്യൂസ് ചെയ്തിരിക്കാൻ പറ്റുന്നത് It is hard for a man 
to show his feminine side than for a woman to show her masculine side. Like, what do you say? If you look at professions, there are professions that are sorted out for men and for women. If a man does a profession that is not really associated with him, other person, okay, feminine type of person, they are not very good. But, so we are like a male teachers in the country, a lot male nurses in the country. Because women are supposed to be good with children, men are not. Women are supposed to be good caretakers of patients, men are not. This is a kind of sidelining. Three girls get a lot of help, which is good enough. You get the money, you get the money, you get the money. You get the money. But, when you make this point, yes, uh, it's not easy for a woman to don the robe of a man. societies even now like for example if a woman drives a truck that's unusual and abnormal yes chilla rules the truck driver like this way and on the road but normal not a other aberration it is unusual and abnormal so there are certain professions that are denied to women they could have exported but these are denied to women. That's why I think, I think I'm 50-50 there. What is your take on the experience of gender neutral reforms, especially in education institutions? Gender neutral? I would say that freedom is more important. Right? You give the choice, not just one or two, but give many choices. If someone wants to wear a skirt, let that person, let he or she wear a skirt. If someone wants to wear shirt and trousers, let him or her do that. If someone wants to wear some other dress, even that should be fine. So, right now we are thinking binary. We have only two options. If it is gender neutral uniform, I can see that. But call it on it. But where is the option? Run into it. Where is the option? Do you have an option? Either uh, another matter or something that you have an option. If you have more options, good. School rules are done. Boys have particular uniform. Girls have no. Even that is limited. And then under our rule, we can have more. If someone wants to wear a frock, why not? If you want uniform, tell of coding to your body. Same colors. Okay, follow these patterns. Fine. You can wear an interest you want. Fine. That, that's my point. It's my point of view. I don't know. Does it make sense? Mostly, it is the 
it is ingrained in the nature of a man to be violent, to go to war. You can take it up on the other side of the world, but you can take it up on the other side. So if there are no wars, there is no real need to be violent. We are living in a civilization. We really don't need wars. We don't need wars. We don't need wars. So, uh, being violent, it doesn't have any positive as for me. Violence is not the only thing. Unless it is a, uh, a life-threatening situation. I mean, a situation, of course. That's a different thing. But, if there is no war, there is no need to be violent through. A word of gratitude is the integral and inevitable part of every occasion. I call upon Aishwarya for the word of thanks, the moment of presentation. Good evening to all now. Distinguished chief guest, Mr. Rahul Narayanan, Assistant Professor, Department of English of Mahama College, Tirvala, Principal of Prasuri College of Management and Technology, the Technology, Reverend Father Joshi Charambri CMI, Head of English Department, Mr. Sito Joseph Chenevil, Staff Coordinator, Rohini Ma'am, Student Coordinators, uh, Faculty Members, and all dear participants. I think it's a great privilege to acknowledge the vote of thanks on this auspicious occasion. First and foremost, I thank God Almighty for making today's occasion a resounding success. To begin, on behalf of the Department of English of Prasuri College of Management and Technology and all the students, I would like to thank our special guest, Mr. Rahul Narayanan, Assistant Professor of Marhoma College, Tirvala, who is spared from his busy schedule to render an engaging session. I thank you, sir, for your effective and insightful discourse on the topic popular culture. Thank you, sir. A special mention to our respected principal, Reverend Father Joshi Charakure CMI, for being the catalyst that stimulated us to do our best in this event. I thank him in his absence. Thank you, Father. I extend my sincere gratitude to our department head, Mr. Sijo Joseph Chenilin, for his unfettered support and prompt backing in successful conduct of this program, in guiding us and inspiring our very soul. Thank you, sir. I express my sincere appreciation to Rohini Ma'am, staff coordinator, and to Sarah and Steve Sunichin, Ninoshka Sara, Tojan Pillin, the student coordinators. They have truly worked hard to ensure that this occasion becomes a memorable success. Thank you for your earnest efforts. I also owe a special gratitude to the faculty members who have given their relentless effort and support for this event. Thank you. I also thank our non-teaching staffs for helping in making necessary arrangements for this program. Last but not the least, I thank all the participants for your active participation. Once again, thanking you all. Thank you, Corporation. Hope the evening was equally delightful and fruitful. Thank you so much.